Hello and welcome. This is going to be an adventure. I am going to be dyeing my hair purple, blue, some kind of like mermaid hair style. Uh, something totally different than what I have now. Now I'm not a cosmetologist, not even a beauty school dropout. I'm not even Frenchy. Um, I've just watched a lot of YouTube videos and I thought, hey, I want to turn my blondish hair, uh, fake blonde hair uh, to purple just because why not? Why not? This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, um, probably for about three years. And uh, just a few days ago, I was like, well, if not now, when? So this is the when. This weekend is the when. And it's going to probably be a two-day process because there's a few things I'm going to do to my hair. So if you want to see how I'm going to do it, watch this video. Whether it's going to come out good or bad, I don't know. Uh, stay tuned. This is what we're going with right now. As you can see, it's kind of like a Lion King sunset. We got uh, black to like the orange and a, a yellow, kind of really brassy looking right now. Up on top, we are showing Steamboat Willie with the black and gray. And what I'm going for is maybe like a Wreck-It Ralph, Sugar Rush character color um gem of the holograms band member i don't know we'll see what happens so yeah this is gonna be interesting first thing i'm gonna do is try this malibu hard water treatment because my hair is pretty brassy and it's not holding on to toner and not bleaching very well so one of the things that i saw was to try this packet i got this on amazon i think that's the only way you can get it if you're not a licensed professional as I say, I'm not a professional. I'm not even playing one on TV. I know you're seeing me on TV right now. Not a professional. Got this on Amazon for like five bucks and change. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and we'll see what happens if this helps. Again, this is what we're starting with. Take a good look and we'll see if there's any change. Step one is done. We'll see how this looks when it's completely dried. It's of course hard to tell if it did anything when it's wet because everything looks darker when it's wet. And also it's not gonna really like lighten my hair. I don't really expect that. I was hoping to get some of that brassiness out and then hopefully it'll be easier for the, the color to cling to my hair later on. So that's my hope. So online, the directions I think said to use it with a clarifying shampoo. I didn't have that, so I just used a regular cleansing shampoo that I have. And also the packet is pretty small. So what you do is you pour out the packet into your hand and it looks like dishwasher crystals, basically. You mix it with a little bit of water and you put it on your hair and let it sit for about five minutes. Then you rinse it, shampoo, and then condition. I have shoulder length hair. If you have longer hair, you're definitely gonna need two packets, maybe even three. Like if you have hair down to your waist, you're probably gonna need three. So I'm gonna let my hair dry naturally. I don't really like to use a blow dryer. And I got the time today, so it doesn't matter. So I will be back in a few hours when this is dried. Okay, so my hair is fully dried and it does look a little bit less brassy down here. I mean, yeah, it still looks not great because it's not bleached all the way. But in real life, IRL, it doesn't look quite as brassy as before. So we'll see how well the dye holds on to it. That's my main concern because right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my head and I'm going to bleach my roots and then re-bleach this underside part here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is part my hair down the middle. Comb it right near my ear to the back to make some sections. I know these are not gonna be that neat. I'm not that neat at doing this. This is all just one big experiment. So we'll see how this comes out. Uh, clip them off. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna do our best here. Then I'm gonna get the back. I'm gonna try to start off with a very thin layer on the back. All right, that's the back. And that's where we're gonna start with our first layer of bleach. I think that looks all right. 
This is a real attractive look for me. So here's what I'm going to be using. I'm using the Ion Absolute Perfection Booster. This is supposed to help protect your hair. I'm also using the Ion Bright White Cream Lightener. I've used this many times, eight levels of lift. And then because I am using this, you have to increase the volume of the developer that you're using. So normally you would use 20 volume on your roots. I'm going to use 30 volume per the package instructions to increase the volume. Okay, I do have a scale that I use for other purposes. So I'm gonna zero that out and I'm going to do four ounces total of the bleach. So two ounces of the lightener and then two ounces of the developer. Wasn't exact, but that was good enough for government work. And then I am going to use a half an ounce of this because of how much bleach mixture I have in there. Two shots of this, mixy mixy. Looks pretty good. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and start a timer on my phone so I don't forget how long this has started on there. Also, gloves. Gloves. I wish I had the ones that are tighter, but this is all I have right now. These are like food service gloves. I can go be a cafeteria lady right after this. Bend over and cough. And I'm just trying to get all the black parts, brown parts, on my head. didn't have very good technique. I'm hoping it's gonna come out okay. It looks pretty even. I'm about to get in the shower. It's been on for 36 minutes total. Um, there's a little bit of brown spot there. I missed that spot, so I went back. But I think I'm about to go ahead and rinse this out in a few minutes. I might give it like five more minutes for that spot. And it looks like it got pretty light. Um, I'm gonna do a bleach bath, I think, on the rest of it so I can get some of this orange out. So I'll see you after I take a shower. Ugh. Well, this came out like a uh, daughter of a carrot top. I'm not sure why it came out quite so orange. Uh, I tried not to get anything down here, but clearly I did. My roots are a little hot. Uh, my face is a little hot. I'm a little hot. Because uh, that's not what I expected. That's all right. We're going to try to fix it. I'm going to do the bleach bath. Hopefully that'll lift it a little bit more. I think I'm gonna do a 30 volume because it is still so orange and not lifted to where I need to be. And I don't wanna like redo the entire thing again. So I'm just gonna do the bleach bath and then we'll see what happens. Well, it didn't do nothing, but it didn't do a whole lot. I mean, it definitely looks a little bit lighter. The ends look good. I tried not to put any on the top of my head because it was already, I already had hot roots and it was already pretty overprocessed up here. So, I think I'm done with the bleach for tonight. I just want to see what's going to happen tomorrow with it. But I am kind of do like a pre-dye. Like I saw that you can use the Arctic Fox as a like a toner in your conditioner. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. And then we will re-dye it tomorrow probably. We'll see what happens. So I've just got a lot of white conditioner here with a dot of the purple Arctic Fox. And let's mix this up. This is what we got, this pretty lilac lavender color. I'm gonna put this on in the shower on my already wet hair. I'm not too concerned about getting it 100% even, whatever, because I am gonna re-dye it tomorrow on the dry hair with hopefully how I want it. We'll see how this comes out. If this still looks really bad tomorrow, I'm gonna have to do another bleach bath, I think. We'll see. I don't wanna look like carrot top. So slight change of plans. When I put that purple dye on my hair, because my hair was too orange, it wasn't covering it very well. So I kinda knew that was gonna happen. That's why I also got the blue uh, Poseidon. 
And so I just mix that up with some conditioner and just put it right on top. And again, I'm not that worried about it being 100% even right now because I am gonna go over it tomorrow. I'm gonna do blue and purple in it. So however it comes out, I'm sure it's gonna be okay. At least I hope so. Um, yeah, so if it's, as long as it's not orange tomorrow, I think I'm gonna be all right. So like these ends look all right. I'm gonna leave this on for about 20 more minutes and I will see you tomorrow. Whoa. Color me impressed. No longer have that orange in my hair. Uh, pretty much all of that came out. It's, it's a very ashy color right now. There are some spots where the purple and the blue really clung to the hair, which is perfectly fine because that's the colors I'm using. But I think it did an amazing job of toning. I and mean, there's a few spots where I didn't do a good job uh, myself applying it. I think if I would have taken more time and done it in layers, I would have got it all out. But the top was what I was really worried about. And I mean, just look, it's no longer, it's no longer yellow, yellow or orange up here at all. Really impressed with that. So this is what we're starting with today. It's, oh some of these parts where it's i did the blue it did turn a little bit of a greenish aquamarine hue which again is to be expected because those parts were a little more yellow so yellow and blue makes green so it makes sense if that happens when i put the final layer on i'm perfectly okay with that in fact teal was a color that i originally wanted to do but i didn't want to lean too green that's why i didn't buy the teal or aquamarine dye uh, that's why i got the poseidon so this is what we're going to start with today yeah let's go ahead and get started i'm going to do um i'm going to use both the purple af and the poseidon i'm going to make mix up a bowl of each i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to go more pastel or a little bit in the medium to dark side I'll see how I feel once I start mixing it up. And I am mixing it with just some white conditioner. Ooh, look, I got this one on clearance. Um, I know a lot of people use the Suave Coconut White Conditioner. I'm allergic to that, so I'm not using that. I'm using what I know I can use for my skin. And I'm going to make, hopefully, way more than I need because my hair is just going to drink it in. So let's see what's gonna happen. I'm going to attempt, attempt. To section my hair better than I did yesterday, but I'm not looking for anything precise. I'm gonna separate this top section into kind of like third. I've got the bottom layer and I'm gonna start off here. Again, I'm not that worried about getting precise placement. I wanna do predominantly the purple and I'm gonna do a little bit of the blue. So I'm gonna say probably 70 cent purple, 30% blue, however it turns out, I'm perfectly okay with, so I'm not gonna be 100% accurate. Um, I'm gonna do like chunkier probably stripes of the purple and then thinner slices of the blue mix in. That's my plan going in. We'll see how it you know, comes out though. This is what we're starting with. You can see that bleach did a really good job of lifting. Remember, it was almost black on my roots. And yeah, there's still a little bit of a yellow tinge in there. Now this conditioner is insanely thick. Like you can't even get it out of the bottle thick. So I'm watering it down so it's a thinner consistency. And you can still see how thick it is after I've already put water in here. See, I mean, chunky. Okay, we're ready for the exam again. I went ahead and put gloves on because this stuff will stain. Just opening up the bottle yesterday, it stained my fingers a little bit, even though I washed it off right away. So yeah, unless you want to have colored hands, glove it up. I'm just going to start off with the purple. I've got my bowl full of conditioner. And like I said, I did water it down because even look, still how thick that is after I watered it. Out of the bottle, it was like leave-on conditioner thick, that particular brand. You probably don't have to water down all the brands or most brands, it's just that one. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here and I'm looking for probably, I think a medium purple. All right, let's see what oops, we come up with. I'm gonna try swatching it on here to see what the color is. Just like a thin layer, that's pretty light. I think I'm gonna have to put a little more of that purple dye in there. Otherwise, I don't think it's gonna cover up the yellow that I have. So let me just put like a little more squirt in there. And again, I'm okay with it coming out a little bit darker. I don't want it as dark as on the bottle. So 
That's why I'm diluting it. All right, I've mixed in a little more purple. Let's see what we got. I think that's about what I want. So that's what it looks like in the bowl. We're gonna see how that comes. Now I'm gonna do the blue. I got an old plastic container here. Extra off of that. I don't have enough conditioner here. I could tell already I'm gonna have to mix up some more. That's not gonna be enough for my hair. It's pretty, pretty light still. I'm gonna put a little more in there. So we've got our dyes. I've got the purple, I've got the blue. And it's just like mixing paint. You start out with the white base. You're adding the pigment to it and it's better to start off with a little bit more than too much because you can always add more dye, but it's gonna be harder to make this lighter again. So these are the colors that I got. We're gonna see how they come out. If they come out just like this on my head, perfectly fine because you know it's gonna fade out. I don't think it's going to. I think it's gonna be more like the swatches that I did on those napkins, but this is 100% an experiment for me. So let's get going. I'm gonna start off with the purple and I've got some towels next to me that I'm gonna be able to wipe my hands off on and let's get it going because I'm, uh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the purple. That's gonna be the color I want the most of. Chunkier pieces on the purple. I want it to be mostly purple and then just a little bit of the blue. Um, I don't think there's a really a bad way to do this or a wrong way to do it. I saw people doing all sorts of techniques and they all pretty much came out more or less good. I mean, none of them really looked bad, so I don't know that you can mess it up. Oh, let me fix my hair again. I got it all combobulated now that I've been mixing and stuff. So let me re-section my hair. Now I can start from the back. I'm sure you can tell I'm not that good at sectioning. I'm doing the best I can. I'm just trying to get thin layers and I'm not being that precise. I'm doing all the purple and then I'm going in and filling in with all the blue and then the next layer I'm doing the opposite. Then the blue and then doing purple. So kind of like doing like you're layering bricks. I'm trying not to get too much purple in one spot or too much blue in one spot. Again I'm not that particular about what's going to happen. So fingers crossed it comes out good. I've Got probably a third of my head done. Okay, this is where we're at. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think I got like two more layers left. Uh, maybe three. We'll see. And oh, I'm trying to brush out these layers as I am pulling them down because they're coming out tangly. Just real gentle. I'm not trying to go through the dyed hair. I'm just trying to get that top layer. If it's too much, I am pulling that layer back up. Like I feel like I've got a little too much right here. So here's what I have been doing. I've got purple right here, so I don't wanna do another layer of purple right next to it. I'm gonna take a thin layer and I'm gonna do the blue. And I have been just using my gloved hands to rub the dye in, you know, just like this. And really saturate it, really rub it in, rub it in on the root underneath it and just go down it like that and just make sure it's like saturated and then I, like I said I've been doing all the blue and then going back and doing all the purple and then vice versa and just making sure there's no dry spots if there is you know I'll go back and fix that and since purple is my predominant color I've been kind of filling in with purple I'm just about done I have been really working it into like my root and my scalp as I've been going and I kind of ombre the front here hopefully I don't know how well it's going to come out but so I did a little bit of purple at the top and then did the blue at the bottom and then blended it uh, we'll see how that comes out I might have got gotten a little muddy but that's all right I think it'll be a periwinkle color if nothing else and that'll still be pretty and I'm just going back in and you know, this is just the, the top part, trying to get all the purple layers and then the blue layers, blue sections. And like I said, just really working it into the root so hopefully I don't have any, you know, blonde spots left. 
uh, we'll see. I'm excited. I think it's looking pretty good. I mean, it goes on. It doesn't look like it's covering very well, but then as it sits on the hair, it seems to darken up. And I think I'm going to leave this on for 30 minutes. Okay, I think I got it all done. And so I'm going to put a cap on and we're going to let it sit. This is what we're looking at right now. So this dye has been on for about an hour. It doesn't matter how long you leave it on. I think, I think the minimum is 30 minutes and then up to however long. It's just conditioner and dye. So I don't think there is going to be such a thing as over processing it. Anyways, I'm going to jump in the shower now and we'll see how it looks. Okay. Here is what it looks like post shower. It's really hard to tell how well it took at the top um because it doesn't look very saturated up there so i'm gonna let it dry if i don't like the way it looks i have plenty of the colors left and i can just go over the entire thing and you know resaturate it again i'm not gonna go through with the stripes if i don't like it i'll just resaturate it with the blue or the purple we'll see how it how it turns out i mean you just you just never know what it's gonna look like when it's dry but see like right here does it look like it really clung on to the dye but maybe it did things look so different when they're wet versus dry like my hair when it was orange i am going to try using my hair dryer hopefully that'll help set a little bit more it said in the directions you could do that for like up to 15 minutes. So this has been on there for an hour. I'm gonna blow dry it, get it hot. Hopefully it'll stick a little bit better. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna go wash it out one last time. This is what it looks like wet. I like this color. We'll see how much actually stays in though. Yeah. Okay, rinsed but wet. Let's blow dry it and see how it comes out. Already it looks a lot better than before. It's a lot more saturated. Um, there's still parts that are not completely purple. Uh, we'll see what happens. Let's try it. Here it is. Okay, so this is not at all what I thought it was gonna turn out like, but I kind of love it. It's a little My Little Pony. It's got different colors in it. As you can see, the front is kind of like a neon purple. And then there's some like magenta. I don't know. And then there's a little bit, you can see where I put the blue streaks in here. It's like a periwinkle color. Okay, so overall, I like it. But on the top, on the back, I'm not sure if you can see this very well. It doesn't look like it took the dye very well on this back section and just other various sections in the back of my head. So today what I'm gonna do is see if maybe I could put more dye and less conditioner, um, maybe some more blue. Maybe I had too much purple. Maybe these sections just are not going to take the purple dye very well. I don't know. So I'm gonna do, I think, three test strips on the back of my head to see if I can get this to cover. Because, you know, back here, it just, it just looks like I use that spray color hair paint. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look like it's covered very well. It just kind of looks like a, a dirty blonde brownish with a tinge of purple on top. So yeah, like the front, you know, I like it. I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit darker or maybe a different shade. I don't, I mean, I like it overall. I mean, I think it's, I think it suits me. It goes on my glass as well. Um, yeah, what do you think? Okay. So I've got a batch of the purple. I made it darker. As you can see, that is very different than what's on my head. And just a little bit of the blue very electric also and I did use a different conditioner this time so I almost ran out the other conditioner I had and it was pretty thick anyways so this time I am trying this pure zero conditioner coconut milk and it mixed up way better it wasn't chunky at all 
So I want to do a test strip on the back of my head to see how it is. And I'm doing like a bottom layer in case it doesn't look good. When my hair is down, you're not going to see it. I was pretty tempted to just do it on top because that'll be the easiest for me to see it as I'm testing it. But if it looks bad, it looks bad. And then everybody's going to see that it looks bad. <laughs> trying to pick sections that are more brown than I want it to be because those will be representative to what's on top. Okay, so just like before, I think I'm gonna leave that on for close to an hour, 30, 45 minutes, and then I'm gonna rinse it out, let it dry, and then I'll see what happens. Okay, here's how it looks dry, and I went ahead and put little clips in it so I knew what the sections were that I colored. This one is the one I put more purple on. This is the one that had more blue on, and I went ahead for kicks and giggles, did a section with a mix of purple and blue, which was mostly purple. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do both colors like I had originally wanted with the purple and the blue. And hopefully it comes out good no matter what. I'm done coloring my hair for now because this has been an ordeal. So let's get to it. <laughs> okay, final go round. It is what it is after this. I've got my blue mixture. It looks bright. We've got our purple, it looks like Nickelodeon slime gack color. That's actually what they both look like. They both kind of look like they could be gack colors. So just like before, I'm gonna section my hair off and I'm going to do the stripes and let's do this. Okay, we're almost done. We're on the top layer now. I've already done one blue stripe. I'm really trying to get it in on the top on my scalp where I felt like it was really brown before. Hopefully it'll saturate better this time. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with my leftover dye and make sure I coated my entire head. Cause I'm wondering if maybe, I don't know what happened last time. I just don't, don't. take off my glasses and make sure I get it really in here. Because there were some pieces that looked a little magenta, but also a little brown at the same time around here. I'd like to make that a little bit purple. And I can't see Jack Maloney now, so I gotta put my glasses back on. Okay, I, I really wanted to make sure it was saturated, so I really like was smashing my hair down on there. Um, I'm sure I lost a lot of that blue in that process. I'd rather have this come out more purple than anything right now, and I'm hoping this is it. Oh, and this is what's left of the dye. Not much, hardly any blue. Very little purple. Very, very little. That's like enough for a touch up if I miss something. That's about it. So, I mean, this container was almost full of conditioner. And this one was probably about mm, a third, quarter full. So, yeah, it uses a lot. My hair sucks up a lot. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if it's abnormal. I don't know. So, I've gone through probably almost two and a half bottles, two, two and a half bottles of conditioner. You need a lot. I want to know if anyone at the Glade Press and Seal Company has ever heard of someone wrapping their dyed head <laughs> in this cling wrap. Oh my gosh, it holds so good. It really does feel secure. It felt better than using the shower cap. So, pro, non-pro tip. <laughs> champions my friends oh my gosh I love it it's not at all what I thought it was gonna turn out like not exactly anyways but I absolutely love it I feel like a my little pony I feel like mouth from descendants ah the color is so bright, so saturated now. So let me show you. So we've got still a little bit of the, the purple. You could see where the blue is. It's like a periwinkle color. There's some like 
a lot of magenta actually, which was not on my lotto scratch off card, but apparently it was, but I absolutely love it. It reminds me of one of those iridescent color changing cars because it just, I mean, just look at all these colors in here. Uh, wow. So I'm really impressed. I absolutely lo 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 love it. So I'm so glad I went back and redid it again. I think it looks so much better. The back looks better and I'm in process of editing this video right now and I could see where I definitely missed some spots when I was doing the first round, especially like right here and in the back. I can see where I made my mistakes. It doesn't seem like about the lighting in this bathroom where I was sitting doing the dye is not that great. So next time I would get some like lamps or something and project some better light back there. But we, we got there, you know? If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. No, I'm no Aaliyah, but yes, I did dust myself off. I did try again and I did win. I love it, absolutely love it. So yes, look at this. I'm so happy with it. Okay, so I did want to make a few notes about doing this process. Uh, one, it's really helpful if you go onto the Arctic Fox website and look at the chart that they have that says how the colors are going to look on if you have like brown hair or shades of blonde. I do wish that they would have had yellows and oranges on there because I think that's where a lot of people are going to be coming from. Most people are going to be coming from some kind of bleached process and they're going to have some kind of yellow or orange, especially because we're doing this at home. Like, we're not hairdressers. We don't, I mean, yeah, ideally you'd have a white base to start off with. That's just not a reality for most of us to start off. Two, you don't need as much dye as you think. This bottle is the small of the Poseidon. I did not use that much of this, so I got plenty of this left. And on the purple, I mean, I got tons of this purple left. So I am gonna have enough to do my hair many more times, refresh it many more times. The conditioner, I went through oodles of this conditioner. Like I said, a lot of people do use that suave because it is cheap and you can get a jumbo bottle for like a buck. So unfortunately, again, I'm allergic to that. I can't use it. I use the ones I know I can use. Oh, and the smell of this. A lot of people said it smells like grape candy. To me, it smells like Dimetap. At least it doesn't smell like amoxicillin or penicillin or if you've never had the pleasure of smelling clindomycin, which smells like Raid. No, but I think it smells really good. Um, it's just like a grapey, you know, dime tap scent. That's, that's exactly what it smells like. So for that last round, I did keep the dye on for about two hours. I'm not sure if that's what helped it or if it was just because at that point in time, I had three layers of dye on this. So obviously it's just like painting. The more layers that you have on it, the more saturated and more coated it comes out. So I think you can just leave it on as long as you wanted to. It's not gonna hurt. So the good thing about using the Arctic Fox is that it's just basically a conditioner mixed with a dye. So it's not like you're going to be damaging your hair at all after you've done the bleach, of course. So pretty much no matter what, you can keep playing with it and playing with it until you get the look that you want. So I really did like that. I didn't like that you couldn't really predict what the color was gonna be, but I guess that's probably true for any time you're dyeing your hair is just kind of like a gamble. You just don't, you just don't 100% know how it's gonna react. And yeah, I just can't stop playing with it. I'm doing like all sorts of different hairstyles with it, trying things out. I got some new hair accessories to try with it. And yeah, I'm just, I'm super excited, you know? It, in many ways, this came out way better than I ever expected. This did take a long time though. The bleach was one day and then I did basically two more days of dye and then the, the time that it takes to set on there. So yeah, but you know, to do it yourself, it doesn't cost that much money, which is a pro. So, so by the time you get the bleach and the dye, and all the chemicals, uh, probably 50 bucks or something like that. Maybe 75 if you need to get the brushes, which does sound like a lot, but you will have enough to do your hair again many more times after that. I think if I was to have gone to a salon, it probably would have been several hundred dollars, probably $300 or something like that. Now granted, they would have done it quicker and it probably would have looked better, 
but I am very happy with it and I did have fun. So yeah, let me know if you would uh, do this or if you have done this to your hair. I mean, I'm just super pumped with the results. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing this. This was like a fun little craft project with my hair. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of it. I'll see you next time. Bye.